Today I'm in my 2007 Saab 93 and I'm going to show you a problem with the steering that can afflict many cars. It particularly afflicts the Saab 93 from 2003 onwards and also the Vauxhall Vectra C. Now the symptoms of this steering problem can be twofold. Either you can have wobbly steering or at certain angles the steering can feel stiff. Here in the UK the MOT requirement is that the steering wheel rim shouldn't move more than a quarter of an inch. Now without the engine running but with the key in ignition so that the steering lock is not on this steering wheel at the rim is easily moving a quarter of an inch. Now when you're moving it side to side like this you'll also be able to hear a knocking steering column and the steering rack there's an intermediate shaft which contains two universal joints. The top universal joint is inside the car and connects to the steering column. The lower universal joint connects to the steering rack. Now because this is outside the car of course it's exposed road dirt and it's this universal joint that wears and fails and causes the knocking and stiffness. If you can see in there this one has developed a gap in the seal you can just see the play in the joint. Just one word of caution though, before you condemn the steering joint, do make sure that the bolt goes through here, that clamps on the top of the steering rack is tight. So assuming that you've diagnosed that the joint is causing you a problem, there is unfortunately only one remedy and that is that the joint needs to be replaced. Now as far as I know the only possibilities you've got at the moment are to either buy a completely new extension shaft about 200 odd pounds brand new or buy a reasonable condition second hand one. The obvious problem with a second hand one of course is that uh, they're all susceptible to the same problem and you don't know how much better a second hand one is than the one that's on your car. I'm going to investigate the possibility of actually removing this universal joint and replacing it. Transferred to the garage now and I'm going to see if I can press this joint apart. I've got the joint apart now and you can see that what you've got is a, a solid piece in the middle sits in a cup at each side and inside each cup there's a series of roller bearings and as you can see from this one here, once water gets inside, washes any grease and oil away and then corrodes and that stiffens it up and causes excess wear. So thank you for watching friends, I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any comments or direct experience you can add to this, you know what to do. Put them in the comments section down below. Please if you like it, hit the like button. Don't forget that I take requests as well. If there's anything you particularly need to hear about, then put something in the comments and I'll, uh, and I'll see what I can do for you. Cheerio for now.